Haiti is located on the western third of the island of Hispaniola in the Caribbean. Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, with a GDP of 18.5 billion U.S. dollars. For comparison, Sudan's GDP is 159.5 U.S. dollars, and the United States has a GDP of 17.46 trillion. French colonization of Haiti from 1697 to 1804 left legacies of political corruption and poverty in the country. Since colonization, Haiti has had a history of autocratic leaders who abused their political power and quelled dissent with terror. On top of Haiti's already impoverished and corrupted state, in 2010, Haiti experienced a 7.3 magnitude earthquake, killing more than 230,000 people, displacing over 1.5 million people, and destroying schools and roads. Since the earthquake, aid organizations have been flooding into Haiti, attempting to help. However, many of these efforts have been unsuccessful. In fact, less than half of the funds requested by the United Nations has come through. 58% of the Haitians live below the poverty line, and 40% of the population is unemployed. According to the CIA World Factbook, Haiti has a literacy rate of 48.7%. Schools are sparse and overcrowded, leading to inefficiency and lack of quality education for children. Health is also a major issue. A large percentage of the Haitian population does not have access to proper health care that they require. The average life expectancy is only 63 years and there is only 1.3 hospital beds per 1,000 people. There are many contributing factors to the poor health in Haiti, including lack of access to adequate sanitation facilities. In fact, 75% of the population does not use proper sanitation facilities on a regular basis. Because of this, human waste often contaminates water, resulting in diseases such as cholera and hepatitis. When Haitians contract these diseases, they are often not able to go to a health clinic, and these diseases can often result in death. Help Haiti Heal is created with the mission of providing quality health and education for Haitians. Adding just one year, the average level of education in a country will increase its GDP by half a percentage point. Education will also create jobs and businesses to propel Haiti's economy. Similarly, improving health will give Haitians the opportunity to contribute to developing their country. To tackle lack of education, HHH will train teachers in existing schools and provide basic resources for them to efficiently educate children based on the Haitian national curriculum. Additionally, HHH will build schools in overcrowded regions of Haiti in order to meet the education demand. HHH will also train community members to teach adult literacy classes and human rights classes throughout Haiti. In order to fix the problem of poor access to health care, HHH will work with the government to determine the areas of the country that are most in need of health care clinics. Once these locations are identified, we will use the funds from our grant for clinics that will provide basic health care to Haitians. By building all of these clinics for the Haitians, HHH runs the risk of having the locals rely on foreigners to provide them with health care. In order to overcome this risk, all of the clinics that HHH will build will be public which will help to get the locals involved. In addition to building these clinics in remote areas, HHH will also implement a referral system which will allow serious cases in remote clinics to be moved to hospitals in more urban areas where there is a better access to more resources. Our budget of $1 billion will be broken down amongst our three main focus areas, education, infrastructure, and health. $150 million will be allocated to education, and budgeting for the improvement of education includes the combined costs of training, paying, school teachers, expensive supplies, including books, and etc. We have also incorporated the cost to furnish the school with desks for each student, chalkboards, whiteboards, chairs, and other classroom accents. The implementations of up to two computer labs for each of the two schools are also potential assets to be considered. This cost would account for the price of all desktops, hard drives, and other accessories. $400 million will be allocated towards infrastructure. And for a plan, the development of infrastructure in Haiti will not be based upon the construction of roads or bridges, but instead, quality of the buildings to be constructed. The budget will include the cost to build and sustain schools in addition to health clinics. 
There is an important focus on young adolescent age groups to aid in the preparation needed for the workforce. Therefore, we plan to construct two schools, one for 1st through 6th grade and another for 7th through 12th graders, along with working with other established partners to add classrooms onto existing schools. $200 million will be allocated towards health because the betterment of the health situation in Haiti needs dramatic attention. The attempt to fight, cure, and prevent disease is prevalent through the construction of clinics. The Helping Haiti Heal budget will contain the expenses to provide proficient medical equipment immediately and over time. The surplus funds will equate to roughly $250 million. The capital available following the immediate construction and furnishing of schools and clinics will be used over time in the places it is needed. This money will be especially significant when attempting to keep a steady flow of adequate medical equipment, supplies into schools, and taking care of repairs.